Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, I want to go through manufacturing again today. Uh, we were kind of just talking about the differences between assembly orders and production orders in NAV. Uh, there are some big differences there, but um, one thing maybe people who are starting to use manufacturing, <clears throat> it probably it looks like it's quite big to get into it. Uh, so for example here, if I go into departments and uh, there's this whole area of manufacturing that goes into capacity planning, you know, product development, uh, all of these things, and uh, there are so many aspects. Very complicated, can be very complicated, but it, it doesn't have to be. You just start jumping into the things, uh, the easiest things first. So like, for example, creating a production order, consuming and outputting on it. Okay. Is that hard to do in an AV? Actually, it is not. Uh, and I'm going to show you the shortest path to that today. So if I go into um, manufacturing right here and execution, Right, so we get a list of things like planned production orders, firm planned production orders, release production orders. Okay, forget about planned, forget about firm planned. We're not going to talk about that right now. Just go straight into released. Okay, released is the one that's in action. You're going to be interacting with that one, you know, consuming, outputting, all that. So just forget about the other ones for now. Um, we're here to release production orders. This company does bicycles and loudspeakers, right? We'll take that. Um, let's just create a production order for a bicycle. How do we do that? Okay, just do new. And I am not creating a new bill of material or anything like that. I'm just using an existing bill of material in the demo system, bicycle. I create a new one, just hit enter. I get a new number here. And so it asks us various questions here on top. Just uh, go straight into the source, uh, what we're actually going to make. So we're gonna make uh, a bicycle, all right? How many? Let's say how many, 500. So it fills in everything else so you can see. 500 bicycles, a lot of them. Forget about assigning it, all of that. And then just go um, refresh production order up here. Okay, click on that. And I want everything to be calculated back. I want to calculate the lines, the routings, company need, all of that, okay? Fine, hit OK, and bada bing, bada boom, I have a line here. It calculated, it's gonna take me whoa, two, three months almost to make 500 bicycles. It's a long time to make a bicycle. But anyways, um, it's all in here. If I go into the line now, into components, I see the component need. We need 500 of each one of these. So it's all one, I guess, that's used. Um, I can also go into the routings and you can see it goes through the wheel, chain, final and control and here it's calculated the time and actually it's serial so it starts with uh, wheel assembly, uh, ends and goes into chain assembly and then you know through Christmas and over New Year's and into the new year we finally have 500 bicycles. <laughs> All right it's a demo so uh, don't knock me. And uh, so this is, this is ready, this production order. Okay, how do we interact with it? All right, let's get into that. I can go into line production journal. This is the simplest way to interact with the production order. You go right into it. Go into the production order right here. Here it's basically saying, okay, you care about two things, two things only. I care about how much I used and how much I output it, right? Uh, so let's say if, uh, it's suggesting, of course, that I use 500 for each. And I can change that. I can say I use more. And I can also type in the time. So let's say, for example, I'm just starting. I've used five front wheels. Five of each. Like that. So I'm just going to F8 it down. For people who don't know, F8 will copy above. And uh, here we actually output it five. I got it. 
I can also type in the time that it took me, um, etc. Actually, over here, the run time to be 50. That was very quick. Okay, and I can put in the scrap quantity, etc. And then I can just post right here. Post the journal, yes. Successfully post it. And then if I go back, I have now finished five. I've interacted with this production order. I can also go into statistics and see that the actual cost is now $1,600 of material that I've used, capacity cost, which was the 50 minutes there, or $60. Uh, so the total cost is this, the variance is still off because I haven't finished my 500. So this production order is in action. So I can keep just inputting and posting there. It will post everything in the back end on the accounting and everything. And then finally you just finish it uh, and then it completes the production order, puts it into finished and you're done. So, you want to get quickly up and running on manufacturing? It's not really that hard. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit creating our own bill of material and own routings. Next one, still trying to keep it simple and throw up this again with our own product. Uh, but for now, I hope you got something out of this. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, thank you.